once you let your past decide how you experience the present, you have destroyed your future. Because what you call as past is accumulated memory. What you call as future is a way of manifesting what you imagine or what you want or what you desire. Once you allow the memory to corrupt the experience of the present, instead of enriching your life with present experience, you replay the past and cloud the present, then naturally your imagination and your ability to manifest the future is also corrupted. We need to understand, in the psychological space, there is only memory and imagination. The mechanics of your psychology functions between these two. Existentially, only the experience of the present moment is, there is nothing else. But if you do not handle the psychological and the existential separately or your inability to handle the psychological and existential separately is because necessary sadhana to bring a distinct difference between what is memory and what is imagination has not happened. Your past and future are mixed up, so present is clouded. Naturally, the question arises, how do I do this? How do I separate my memory and my imagination? Just answer this question to yourself. Does your body have imagination? No. <laughs> your body is just a body of memory. Evolutionary memory, genetic memory, karmic memory, conscious, unconscious, articulate, inarticulate, various types of memory. Your body is a manifestation of your memory. What has happened a million years ago, still your body remembers. What kind of skin your forefathers had, still your body remembers. <laughs> what kind of nose your great-grandfather or mother had, it still sits on your face. So your body is just a product of memory, but it has no imagination. Imagination is the realm of the psychological space. There is no problem in your mind to imagine whatever you want. But right now, because you do not know the distinction between body and mind, physiological and psychological process. Hence, the existential and psychological also has gotten mixed up. There are simple meditative processes with which you can bring about a clear distinction between what is body, what is mind, or in other terms, what is memory and what is imagination. In doing this, the present moment will genuinely become available for your experience not by chanting, live in the moment will you get there, but only when you have a clear, defined experience of what is memory and what is imagination, will the present moment or the very life process and the whole existence becomes available to you because yourself and the creation is available to you only in this moment. This moment is all there is, but the whole creation Everything, all life that's throbbing right now, animate and inanimate, is happening in this moment. If you are not able to experience this moment, it's not just that you're missing your happiness or peace, you're missing the entirety of life process. So it's very important that we must develop the inner discipline, necessary process of yoga within yourself to clearly distinguish between what is memory, what is present experience and what is imagination. Only then will you be able to manifest life in a most beautiful manner. May you know the best in this life. Namaskar.